Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Original Gamer Stevie Stroh, and we are back for um, the continuing series on how to install and then how to mod Minecraft. So I just got done recording a video showing you how to install Minecraft. And when you install Minecraft out of the box, whatever you download and run that you get directly from Minecraft.net and from Mojang, that's what's now what we call vanilla Minecraft because there's nothing's been changed. It's the out of the box normal over-the-counter off-the-shelf version of Minecraft. The cool thing about Minecraft is there's been a tremendous community of people who make modifications for Minecraft for Modcraft. You know, that technically what it would be called would be called Modcraft. But yeah, there's a community that makes modifications for Minecraft. And we just call those mods. And so when you allow Minecraft to run mods, you're modifying Minecraft or what we call modding Minecraft. And so now um, I did this once before about eight months ago when I started my channel. But because I have to reinstall Minecraft on my computer and I have to reinstall mods, I might as well do an updated video on this. And so let's go through the whole process. What I've just done in the previous video is I've installed Minecraft and it is on my desktop. And so Minecraft was downloaded from Minecraft.net. And in order to modify Minecraft, the majority of the mods that people use come from a, uh, a, a company called Forge, right? So it's the, the, the link to do this, and I will put a, a link to this in the description of this video, but it's files.minecraftforge.net. And that's the main kind of landing page to get all these things. Now you'll notice here that there are just different versions of, of Forge you can get. And you have to have the version of Forge that matches the version of Minecraft. So right now Minecraft is on version 1.8.9. Um, there are a number of 1.8 mods for Minecraft, but the, the bulk of most of the major mods that have existed for a long time all run in 1.7. So um, what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how to mod Minecraft for both 1.8 and 1.7. So I can do a 1.8.9 mod. I can do a 1.8.7 mod. And let me show you where all that stuff goes down and where it takes place. So we start by going back to our desktop. And this is my Minecraft launcher icon. When I first bring up Minecraft, this is the launcher page. And this is our profile page. So this is a brand new installation of Minecraft, so there is only one profile, and this is my OG Stevie Stro account, and this is telling me what version of Minecraft is going to run here in the right-hand corner where it says, ready to play Minecraft 1.8.9. Um, what I want to do now is I want to edit this profile, or I could even create a new profile. And so if I was to edit this profile, and I just want to show you a couple of things here. So number one, here's a name. And you can change these names to where they make more sense to you. But here's the version option where it says use the latest version. And so if you keep it on use the latest version, every time you launch this, it will check the website. And if there's a newer version, it will download that version. And it will run you on the newest version of Minecraft. That's an official release. This is where you can also change it to run a specific version. And so what I want to do right now is I want to create a profile for 1.7.10. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to hit new profile. And I'm going to call this just very generically 1.7.10 is the name. And then instead of using the latest version, I need to scroll down and I need to change this to 1.7.10. And then I need to save profile. But there's one more thing I want to do here too before I finish saving the profile. Right here on the left is a button that says open game directory. And the game directory is the folder to where we're going to copy all of our mods. So if I click on open game directory, it's going to open a new folder that's pointing to uh, app data roaming dot Minecraft. And this is a folder I want to actually put on my desktop. So how do I do that? I'm going to back up one folder. I'm going to back up to my left. I'm going to back up to the folder that says roaming. And then the folder here that says dot Minecraft, I want to do one of two things. I can do a right mouse click and I can say send to send to desktop create shortcut that will create a shortcut to dot minecraft on my desktop another thing i could do here too is i could because i'm in windows this only works in windows i don't know how to do this in a mac i could drag this over under my favorites on the left here 
and I could drag it here and I could have a dot Minecraft in the left hand side here under my favorites. So there's two ways to do it. I'm actually going to keep them both ways. And the reason why I want to do this is that as we start to install mods, we're going to need to reference this folder and we're going to need to get in here. So I'm creating a quick access to that. So now that I have given a profile name of 1.7.10 and I'm telling it specifically to use release 1.7.10. I need to save this profile and then I need to play Minecraft one time because they need to download that version. And so now that I've downloaded that version and I launch the game, it says in the lower left hand corner of my Minecraft where right now my, my, my body is, is taking up the thing here, but it says Minecraft 1.7.10. So this is how you know you're in that version. I can now quit Minecraft. And the next thing I want to do is I want to go back to Minecraft Forge. I want to go to 1.7 on where it says Minecraft versions. I want to choose 1.7.10. And then there's two different versions. There's latest and recommended. And I always choose the recommended one because the latest one, I, I don't know the difference. I just know that it's recommended for a reason. And this is usually the one that's the most compatible. So the latest one that's recommended for 1.7.10, it's got a really long number here. It's 10.13.4.1558. That's a mouthful, right? So I'm going to say download installer win. I'm going to click on that. And then this is a lot of times where you're going to get all kinds of crazy pop-ups. And this is where you have to be careful when you are downloading mods, is that a lot of times in the middle of this screen, you're going to see all kinds of messages about a file is ready for download. But in this case here, I'm downloading Forge. I'm going to save it to my downloads file and folder. It's coming up. And now it's here in the bottom. I'm going to click on it to run it. And then it should come up. And then what I see here is I see the Minecraft Forge doohickey in the middle of my screen and I have a couple of options install client install server because I am running this on Minecraft for myself and not for a server I'm gonna keep it on install client and I'm gonna hit OK it's doing some stuff it's unpacking some files it's working its magic and it's going to create at the end of the day it's going to create a new profile and it even says right here you have successfully installed the client profile forge for forge version 1013 blah 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 dot one seven ten into the launcher it has grabbed 11 required libraries i can go ahead and hit ok when i come back here to my minecraft icon i now have probably more than one profile. My first profile hasn't changed. My OG Stevie Stroh profile is here. The one that I created was called 1710. And then the Forge one is the new one. What I want to do here though is I actually want to edit this profile and I want to change the name Forge to just, um, I'm going to call this 1.7.10 mods. And I've given that a generic and more specific name because I'm going to end up having more than one profile. I want a 1710 mods profile. I want a 18 mods profile. Um, over here in the version now, it actually says that we're doing a Forge version of Minecraft. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. And now this profile says 1710 mods. And this is how you, before you launch Minecraft, you can click on this profile dropdown and you can change in between profiles. So let's switch to 1710 mods. Let's hit play. And you're going to see something when you launch this now. You're going to see the forge icon of how mods are being installed here. So it looks like a little hammer beating on an anvil. And so forge is now installing. And so what we'll see here is, and I need to get out of the way again, but we're going to see on the left hand side of the screen that we have Minecraft 1710, we have MCP, we have FML, which is the Forge mod loader, which shows us what version of Forge is installed. It says 1013.4.15558, blah, 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 blah. So um, you can see in the left hand side that we're now running a modded version of Minecraft. And it even says that there are three mods active because even though we haven't technically installed any mods off the internet, the fact that we've installed Forge, it's already been modded. So if we click on the mods button, we will see a list of mods. And these are over the shelf part of Forge. So there's a Minecraft coder pack. You don't really mess with this. There's the Forge mod loader. This is the piece that allows us to install more mods into the system. And then there's Forge itself. So the very fact that we have modded or we haven't technically modded it yet because we haven't installed any new things to change it but the fact that we've installed forge we have modified minecraft 
by installing three mods that will let us install all the other mods off of the internet. So this is how you can tell that you have a mod loaded. So what's the last thing we will do now? Now that we've modded this, why don't we go ahead and download some mods for Minecraft. And the first mod I always like to get is a mod that is known as um, Optifine. Optifine is a mod that greatly enhances the way things look in Minecraft. It makes things a little bit sharper, a little bit crisper, and it also um, increases your frames per second. It's very useful on, if you have a slower computer that Optifine allows you to run a little bit smoother with a little bit less lag. So if I do a search for Optifine, O-P-T-I-F-I-N-E, the website is just called Optifine.net. And just like... Um, you have to have the right version of Forge for the version of Minecraft. You have to have the right version of Optifine. So if I click on Downloads, because I have modded Minecraft for 1.7.10, I've got to scroll down to the 1.7.10. The latest version of Optifine right now is called 1.7.10 um, HD U. So there's different ones, right? There's Ultra, there's Standard, there's Light. Might as well go for the Ultra, right? So it's 1710 HD U C1. This was released in in February 7th. I'm not sure how. Oh, 2015. Okay, we're in 2016. All right, sorry, got confused for a second. So this is a year old, but it's 1710. So the latest one is 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 here. This I would download and I'm gonna go ahead and save it now this is where you get all kinds of ad fly stuff and um, sometimes you have to refresh the page and I have to wait for other things there's all kinds of bogus advertisements you get when you try to um, download from these things so what you want to do is you want to wait for your right hand corner where it says please wait ignore anything that shows up in the center of your screen you want to then go over to where it says skip ad and then you want to click on the one that says download Optifine. I'm going to go ahead and download it to my downloads folder, but we actually have to move it. So I'm going to go ahead and save it to downloads, but I'm going to show you where it needs to go. So this is why I had you save your Minecraft folder on your desktop. And when you open up your Minecraft game folder, which should just say dot Minecraft, you'll see now a folder that says mods. And right now this mod folder is empty. So the next thing I want to do is I want to open up my folder and I want to get to um, my stuff. So if I open up my folder where my downloads are and I go to downloads and I find the download I just down the, the mod I just downloaded is called Optifine 1710 HD UC1. That's a mouthful. Uh, if I drag this over into my mods folder, this is now technically installing a mod into Minecraft. So if I close this out now and I relaunch Minecraft, if I relaunch Minecraft and I keep it on my mods profile and I hit play, I will see that I now have an Optifine mod installed. Every time you launch um, a modded version of Minecraft, you're gonna see this Forge screen come up. Now on the left hand side, You'll also see that Optifine is installed. Optifine actually puts itself on the home screen. And if I click on my list of mods, you'll see that Optifine is on the top of the list now. So this is the process of installing mods. The process of installing mods is to download a mod and drag it into the mods folder. And what does Optifine look like when I bring it up? Just to give you an example. now. This is a pretty fast computer. This is an upgraded computer. When I first demoed Optifine, I was playing on a laptop. I was getting an average of about 30 frames per second. So yeah, because I hit F3, you can see that I'm getting now on this newer computer, I'm getting like 480 frames per second. This is, uh, this is one of the things that we have done since we started making videos for YouTube is we wanted to have a computer that wasn't a piece of crap. So even without modifying this, I technically don't need to boost my frames per second because without Optifine, I'm still doing pretty good. But the cool thing about Optifine is if I go into my video settings is there's just a ton of things you can do. 
So um, graphics, you want your graphics on fancy. This is assuming you've got a decent computer. Uh, smooth lighting is maximum. That's for the maximum effect. Um, fog, you can switch to fancy. That'll make things look better. Under details, you can turn on fancy, fast or fancy clouds. You can turn on fancy trees. You can turn on fancy water. You can turn on, um, is there a fancy option for this? Uh, translucent blocks, we can do to fancy. Grass, we can do to fancy. Rain and snow, we can do to fancy. So all these options here for fancy, if your computer can handle it, um, will look much better. If your computer can't handle fancy, you either turn effects off or you turn it to fast. And the fast option is how you can really tweak a slower computer to get more frames per second. I'm going to go ahead and showcase all the enhancements. Um, op advanced OpenGL. This is another feature that is given to us by Optifine. And I'm going to actually turn that to fast. That is going to um, speed up the graphics rendering. Chunk loading. I don't know. Okay, so chunk loading, changing that to multi-core, which took three clicks. That actually, it even says here in the in the description, is that you get three times faster world loading by using multi-core rendering in here. So that's a cool feature. Under quality, again, this is you would want to change this depending if you've got a good computer or a slow computer. If you've got a good computer, you want to turn things on to fancy. If you don't have a good computer, you turn them off. So when I change clear water to fancy, this is a cool feature that just makes looking through water less blurry, more crystal clear. Um, better grass is a cool feature. You can do fast, you can do fancy. Um, swamp colors, connected textures is fancy. Uh, random mobs is on. Better snow on is another cool feature too. And so with better snow, if you've ever put down a fence post in snow, you'll notice that there's a block of grass now, green grass in the middle where the fence post is. So by turning on better snow, it actually keeps everything white and it only shows you the fence post on top of the snow. Custom colors is on, smooth biomes. Natural textures is another cool feature too. If you turn on natural textures when you have a whole bunch of uh, like blocks of glass instead of seeing the frames in between each block of glass it just looks like one big smooth pane of glass so that's a cool feature if your computer can handle it and when you do all this other stuff um, I don't know if there's anything else here I need to worry about I don't think so so now that I've done all that in my example here I have actually um, added more visual features to it and my frames per second still went up. I'm still now I'm running at like 553 frames per second. So I've actually gotten the the computer to do more. So fancy grass. What you notice here now too is that this is a block of grass, and I don't see dirt on the side of it. Usually you're going to see like the brown dirt with just grass on the top. In this case here with fancy grass, when you have grass on top of grass, it's a solid grass block. So it's kind of cool looking. This is what a normal grass block looks like. You've got dirt on the side and grass on top. So there's a lot of things you can really mess around with and tweak. And the cool thing about Optifine is if you do nothing to it and you don't change any of the settings, you're automatically going to get more frames per second. But you can really tweak it and turn off features or set features from fancy to fast or off. And you can really mess around. And when I was running Minecraft on my laptop, I had to do that a lot. I had to really tweak things to um, turn off certain things so my computer wasn't so laggy. It used to be when I was walking around the world in Minecraft, um, you know, I had all kinds of delays before chunks would load and before the screen would render, and it was just horrible. So um, Optifine is a really good mod that you can use to both enhance the quality of the imagery as well as um, tweak performance on slower computers to maximize your frames per second. And frames per second are able to be seen by pressing F3 on your keyboard. It brings up the what's called the debug screen. You can see lots of information about your computer. But frames per second is king in Minecraft. The more frames per second your computer can render, the smoother and more of an enjoyable experience you're going to have. So what I've just shown you there is how to install a 1.7 mod. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, mash that like button and give it a big fat thumbs up. If you have not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. If you got something you'd like to say, throw out a comment. Tell me what you thought about this video and tell me what you'd like to see next. And I'd really love it if you could share this video with your friends. Help me grow my channel. And if there's anything else you need to know about me, visit my website, ogstevystro.com. Until the next time, I will see you all later. May the force be with you. Peace out and bye-bye now.